even when you see me with somebody living better I'm trying to tell you that me just doing me gonna have you jealous, uh I know that I YouTube, Cobra Family, and Penguin supporters, y'all welcome, man as y'all see from the title, we got uh, another Penguin video. And uh, this time he's talking about... <sighs> y'all see who he's talking about. Lo and behold, you're truly Dr. Disrespect. I, I'm i still in shock and disbelief on what has been going on this past month with all these predators and pedos just coming out the woodwork. And y'all, mind y'all, these are big streamers. Like streamers who really are genuinely financially successful, getting getting in these in these getting caught in these acts, and one one of the biggest ones, legendary status, Doctor Disrespect, is one of the biggest biggest streamers, content creators, bro, and he's he's one of the main ones that just got caught. Now, according to According to everybody, it was like what two, three years ago, but only him, only his wife knew about it. In the Twitch, somebody, I, the Twitch people knew, but they just kind of swept it under the rug and let it be. But even still, man, like it was bad then. Like I don't know, it, it, this is just weird to me. Like why? Anywho, let's see what Ping wanted to say, y'all. What a crazy day this has been. So I'm sure pretty much all of you that clicked on this video already know about what's happened with the Dr. Disrespect situation. Mm -hmm. To catch you up to speed with the briefest previously on Dragon Ball Z recap, Dr. Mm -hmm. Disrespect was the face of Twitch. In 2020, he was mysteriously banned from the platform and not a peep had ever been uttered about why. Mm -hmm. This was a secret more guarded than the Krabby Patty formula. Mm -hmm. I really thought we'd never know the reason that Dr. Disrespect was banned. I thought they'd be taken to the grave. I thought we'd crack faster than light travel before we ever learned what the reason behind it was. But then from out of nowhere on just an average quiet Friday night, a former Twitch employee dropped a bombshell allegation claiming that Dr. Disrespect was banned due to sexting a minor through the Twitch Whisper service. Now, there was never any screenshots or evidence provided to support that claim. However, some other parties came forward saying that they had all heard a similar reason behind the ban. Dr. Disrespect then made a response to that statement which was less than satisfactory for most people with a functioning frontal lobe because he talked very vaguely about it and didn't actually outright deny the claim at all. So then he made a follow-up statement which aimed to provide a little more clarity but it was still pretty vague and both of these seemed to have like a lot of legalese talk to him to try like kind of tiptoe around the topic itself so mm -hmm. both of his responses like the tweets weren't received overly well it was like he just kept stepping on a rake like in a cartoon and hitting himself in the face he wasn't doing himself favors with his statements but then the credibility of the source of behind this allegation started to be called into question because people did digging through their twitter and found out they'd actually been dangling this carrot in front of their audience about they know the reason Dr. Disrespect's been banned and if you buy tickets to their concert, they might reveal it. So then people started the to question heck? that. And then today, Dr. Disrespect released another statement where he admitted to the claim of talking to a minor through Twitch whispers inappropriately. However, he denies that there was any real intent behind the messages, which is a crazy what? thing to say. Like, huh? What? Bro, what is going on, bro? No, what is going on? That can't be Dr. Disrespect real response. That just can't be, bro. Like, there's no way. It don't matter what, what the intent was, bro. How in any way, shape, form, or fashion is a young, a young girl going to help you with anything? Again, I, I, we said this earlier today in a in a recent video we did today, which again it's it's sad I even had to talk about this subject this much. But young teenage girls, young girls, are only focused. Their main focus is getting out of middle school and high school, in their their their, their shows or whatever. Their first instinct is not thinking about anything in the future. Why? Is, and they're not even fully developed. Why? 
It is way too easy to... Fi- and apparently he knew. But it's way too easy to figure out how old a woman, a girl, is. You ask it. Yeah, this is my method on how I'm gonna be. What? Like, what? Cause y'all know we we growing we growing at a fast pace too. So when I get to that point where I have like a lot of attention on me and stuff like that, I know there's gonna be women. You know, hitting us up, right? There is an easy way to do this. All my actual age is very simple. I ask you how old you is. If you stutter or you you say some like oh a woman that's supposed to tell her, either you say the age of this conversation done. I feel like a lot of these interactions with some of these streamers, content creators, with these other girls, they never ask the age. And then when they do and the girl don't say it, they never emphasize it. They never, like, double down on it. They always try to glide past it. That's a, that's a red flag. To, that's a red flag, too. So I'm doubling, tripling, quadrupling down on it. Like, and then if if my my supporters or chat or people in chat saying, Christian, hey, you out of here. You out of that, It's that simple. You out of here. Like, I'm not, yeah, I'm not playing them kind of games. Like, I'm not. And the fact that these content creators are, it's just, it, it's just weird to me. And Dr. Disrespect, out of all, out of all people, you, you, Dr. Disrespect? It's a sad day, man. If any of you have watched To Catch a Predator, you'll recognize that tactic, that, that little maneuver right there. Because that's something that was pretty frequent on that show. When a predator went down and talked with Chris Hansen, a lot of them said that same thing pretty much. Like, oh, no, 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 I didn't mean any of that. I was actually just teaching them a lesson about talking to strangers and the dangers of it. There was never any real intent behind the things that were said. Like, that's a very weird thing to try and say. So let's just go through his statement first, though. The Twitch ban. Hello, I'd like to make a statement. Let's cut the bullshit. As you know, there's no filter with me. I've always been upfront and real with you guys on anything that I can be upfront about, and I'm always willing to accept responsibility, which is why I'm here now. First and foremost, I do want to apologize to everyone in my community, as well as those close to me, my team, and everyone at Midnight Society Game Studio. For those that don't know, I, I forgot to mention this in my like lore exposition on this. His company that he founded, Midnight Society Game Studio, which had been working on a game with him for a long time, announced yesterday that they were going to be terminating him after they conducted an investigation and after they assumed his innocence, found something through their investigation that made them uncomfortable keeping him around, so they let him go. So that's why he's mentioning them here. A lot of people have been left in the dark about what happened yesterday with Midnight Society and I, and we made the painful decision collectively to have me step down. Our team is full of incredibly talented and good people that have high career ambitions and families. I'd never want to jeopardize the culture we have carefully crafted. Why is this such a PR answer, too? Like, every time some of these content creators or streamers, they get caught doing something like this, they always give a PR answer. Talk normally and talk regular how you talk, bro. Like... Now, before getting into the rest of this, I do want to mention Midnight Society themselves said that he was terminated. Here he's saying that he stepped down like it was a mutual decision. I don't know if this is like a you can't fire me, I quit type of situation. You know, turn in the Definitely. badge and the gun and go your separate way as a lone wolf. Definitely or is. what? Like, there's just a bit of a discrepancy whether he was terminated by Midnight Society or if he himself and them left on good terms where he agreed to step down. Ultimately, the point is he's no longer associated with, with that studio anymore after they conducted their own investigation into the subject. Everyone has been wanting to know why I was banned from Twitch, but for reasons outside of my control, I was not allowed to say anything for the last several years. Now that two former Twitch employees have publicly disclosed the accusations, I can now tell you my side of the story regarding the ban. Were there Twitch whisper messages with an individual minor back in 2017? The answer is yes. Wow. Were there real intentions behind these messages? The answer is absolutely not. These were casual, mutual conversations that sometimes leaned too much in the direction of being inappropriate, but nothing more. Nothing illegal happened, no pictures were shared, no crimes were committed, I never even met the individual. I went through a lengthy arbitration regarding a civil dispute with Twitch and that case was resolved by a settlement. Let me be clear, it was not a criminal case against me and no criminal charges have ever been brought against me. Oh, so he, he didn't like double, triple down on it, basically. 
This is him. So basically, in a nutshell, like I told y'all, he knew it was a minor. He said stuff was inappropriate that was being said. And he basically just, like, again, he double, triple down on it. And then trying to say there was nothing illegal that happened. We never met. It don't matter. That, Mr. Two Time. Like, bro. Yeah, this is this is a sad month. This is a sad month. <laughs> I don't know what's in the air in June this year, but this is this, this my whole month with content creators and stream. It's just man, this is this is a bad month. I don't know what's in the air in June, but hey, this is I know I I, I know flight right now. He want to change his his special month to from June to July because. Oh we man, if I hey, this is crazy, bro. If y'all know about June flights, you know, but yeah, this is this is sad. This is sad, bro. Like it's very unfortunate, bro. Cause I used to I I watched Doctor Disrespect, bro, when he was coming up in Fortnite and just Call of Duty, like all these games he didn't play, bro. Especially Fortnite and Call of Duty. Seeing all the all the times he went viral for making a joke or some like just just some just hold just a wholesome funny moment from Doctor Disrespect, and now it then turned into this. And and y'all, unfortunately, I, I really wish I could have saw Nick's face too, bro. He was talking about about um, well, he brought the situation up. He didn't bring up like the, the he didn't bring up tweets or nothing like that. Well, when I was, while I was watching, he didn't. But Nick just looked very disappointed and very sad, bro. Like, and I don't blame him. I don't blame him. Cause right after Nick defended you, and nothing came out, like you made him look horrible. Cause he was all about like protecting kids and protecting them from, you know, the LGBT stuff and you know protecting them from bad people. And then one of your closest friends turn around and do this. Y'all know how bad that make Nick, Nick look, bro? Now, the doc actually edited this statement twice. So initially, he posted it with the word minor in it, saying, were there messages with an individual minor? The answer is yes. But then shortly after he published it, he edited the word minor out of it. So he removed that. He redacted it like a fucking CIA document, trying to bury it, just snapping it out of existence. So then it read, were there messages with an individual? The answer is yes. But people were quick to notice the edit. And you can actually check edit history on Twitter, which I didn't know you can do. I but you could clearly see that the original no longer matched the current one because he took the word minor out. So when people caught him red-handed... He just edited it one more time to put the word minor back into it. Now, there is a lot to say about just that small chunk right there, but I'm going to finish reading the statement first before we really dive into the weeds of it. Now, from a moral standpoint, I'll absolutely take responsibility. I should have never entertained these conversations to begin with. That's on me. That's on me as an adult, a husband, and a father. It should have never happened. I get it. I'm not perfect, and I'll fucking own my shit. This was stupid. Now, with all this said... Don't get it mistaken, I've seen all the remarks and labels being thrown around so loosely. Social media is a destruction zone. I'm no predator or pedophile, are you kidding me? Anyone that truly knows me knows where I stand on these things with those type of people. F no, you are. Doctor. Two time. You are. You are. You can, you can, say, you can say whatever you want to say. Well, I'm not this, I'm not this. There was a mean, there's a mean in one ways to avoid stuff like this. There's a million and one ways. I gave my method. Like, literally. It, and it works every single time because I I, I will not be de ever dealing with nothing like this. There's too many ways to find out is a girl grown and is she telling the truth about it. There's a million and one ways. If you're not doubling down on it and really taking it serious... The individual you're talking to not gonna take it serious. It's just that serious. I mean, it's it's just that simple. And then you you talking like this was just some like it, this is common sense. Of course, nobody is perfect, but we got common sense. Like what, bro? It's it's just stuff that you just know as a grown up in general, not to do. 
You know not to touch the stove when it's hot. You know not to put your hand in a fire or it's going to burn you. You know not to go in the ocean by yourself or you're going to drown without a life jacket. Like it's a like like it's stuff like that that you just know as a grown up, and you using the oh I'm not perfect we all made mistakes you using that to play victim. That's a victim mindset. You trying to no that's a victim mindset now. Now you trying to play victim. You knew from the jump that that was wrong. The only reason why you even apologizing is because you got caught. That's it. Mind y'all, this was under swept under the rug for two, three years. So if he really felt bad about it, he would have he would have said something way back then, or he would have even not did it in the first place. But now you're sorry all of a sudden. Okay, yeah, all right, sure. And labels being thrown around so loosely. Social media is a destruction zone. I'm no predator or pedophile. Are you kidding me? Anyone that truly knows me knows where I stand on these things with those type of people. Fuck that. That's a different level of disgust that I hate even hearing about. Don't be labeling me as the worst of the worst with your exaggerations. Get the fuck out of here with that. But I think I've said what I needed to say regarding the ban itself. That's it. That's why Twitch made the decision in 2020. To my team, community, industry, friends that have supported me, I apologize. I wish I could have said all this sooner. You guys have always shown me and my family love and support throughout all these years. We love you guys like you can't imagine. I have the best community and circle. If any of this has made you uncomfortable, I get it. You don't have to support me anymore, but just know you have always been greatly appreciated. Trust me when I say this. To all my haters that live and breathe social media with zero real life experience, I don't give a fuck about you. Finally, if you're uncomfortable with this entire statement and think I'm a piece of shit, that's fine. I'm not going anywhere. Actual Wolf of Wall Street energy. I'm not fucking leaving. And I'm not the same guy that made this statement all those years ago. I'm taking an extended vacation with my family as mentioned on stream and I'm coming back with a heavy weight off my shoulders. They want me to disappear. Yeah, fucking right. Um, <laughs> Dr. Disrespect, Dr. Two Time, I don't think you understand how this... I don't think Dr. Disrespect understands how serious this is. Like, I genuinely don't think he understands, like, how much people are not going to rock with you after this. Like, once you have this allegation on you, there is no taking a, taking a long break and then trying to come back. Nobody's going to forget about this. <laughs> Nobody's going to forget about this. Just because you... You not on social media posting or you not streaming. The moment you start back stream, it's going to be brought right back up. Literally. It's getting brought right back up. And nine out of ten times, wait, you gonna, you, you think you're going to be able to ignore this forever? Like, I don't know why Dr. Disrespect thinks, oh, I'm just going to like, take this long little vacation and then come back. Um, with a weight off my the, the weight <laughs> it's gonna still be there and it, it's like he's trying to like brush it off like it's no big deal too and it's like that's the wrong mindset to have about this and then to kind of like get a little aggressive and talk smack to the people that's talking about the situation I guess in ways that you don't agree with I mean, that makes you look even worse because you basically saying the people that's calling you out saying you wrong for what you did are bad people. Like, what? Yeah, no. Nah. He tries to close this statement with a really hard, cheesy 80s action movie one-liner. They want me to disappear. Yeah, fucking right. Granny shifting, not double clutching like you should. You're lucky you didn't blow the welds off the intake. I'm not leaving. It's really kind of ridiculous to put that there with accusations like this. These are super serious. Like, this isn't something people take lightly exactly. at all. Exactly. In his own statement, he has openly admitted to messaging a minor and had conversations that were inappropriate, or as he said, leaned into being inappropriate. Yep. Now, what's not clear and what a lot of people are coping with is that maybe Dr. Disrespect didn't know the age of the person he was communicating with, but I truly feel if that was the case, Dr. Disrespect would have mentioned that, saying, 
Easily. That he had those communications with this person that he believed was of age but turned out to be a minor. Exactly. I think if that was the reality of that situation, if he truly communicated with someone that he thought was of age but turned out to be a minor, I think he would have mentioned that in his statement, but he didn't. Exactly. He didn't say that he was under the impression he was communicating with an adult. He just says that he had conversations with an, with an individual minor. He doesn't say anything like, oh, they were actually one day away from being 18, or I really thought they were, you know, in their 20s, or anything like that. And I think if that was what happened, it would have been mentioned here. I really do. But there's no mention of that. So it's hard to give that benefit of the doubt that he didn't know. Because I think he would have mentioned if that was the case. I also think it's pretty telling that some of the closest people to Dr. Disrespect are coming forward saying how unacceptable it was in distancing themselves from him because if he didn't know that he was communicating with a minor, he probably would have told them at the very least, but they're not saying that either. So here's Robert Bowling, one of his yeah. business partners here, saying, If you inappropriately message a minor, I cannot work with you. Period. I promised to only act on facts and I did. So I just really don't think there's a whole lot of wiggle room about Doc not knowing that he was communicating with a minor. Like, I feel like there has been plenty of opportunities now for that information to have come out from somewhere, but nobody is saying that other than people theorizing and hoping that maybe that's the case. But Doc himself has never said that that was a possibility. He'd never even hinted that he didn't know the person's age, and the people closest to him aren't saying that either. So I really think that it's likely that he did know that, and he still had these conversations that lean to being inappropriate with someone he knew to be a minor. Which is fucking disgusting. Now, there are people still defending this, saying, well, he didn't go to jail for it, so what's the big deal? Can't wait for the next stream, Doc. Firm handshakes. Like, there's people that are just dismissing this as not a big deal. Which is insanity. I think that is pure lunacy. I can't fucking believe some of what I'm reading here from people that are just writing this off as not a big deal because it's a streamer they like. Yeah, the those those just like his hard. Those there's got to be his hardcore fan base. Like at the end of the day, like y'all, doctor, he he still has a he has a very big fan base. So it, I'm a thousand percent sure there's still gonna be people tuning in to his streams and still like supporting him. But this has ruined all of Doctor Disrespect's bridges with anybody he has connections with. Anybody he has anything with, like this is messed up any opportunities he's had like so I mean he'll he'll probably be back streaming still but nobody he's literally only gonna have his community and that's even what's gonna be left to him of of the of his community because for all we know he could probably mess around and get like only like a thousand two thousand some views or something I don't know or he could he he you know his fall off gonna start to happen. So, but are there always going to be people supporting him no matter what? Yeah, but did he did he basically make his bed and lay in it? Yes. Again, like he, hey, like I told y'all, this, this has been a sad month, week for, for y'all, for, for some of our favorite streamers. So, hey. An adult communicating inappropriately with a minor is bad, full stop. It's inexcusable. No matter how you spin it, that is a horrible thing. Now, he may not have met up with the minor in question. However, was that his decision? Was he the one that decided not to meet up with him? Because with the information that's been come out, now, again, keep in mind, we don't have access to the, the chat log, like the conversations that took place, but from all the sources that have come out from, like, Bloomberg and all of that, it sounds like the conversation they had did talk about meeting up at TwitchCon. So, that right there shows pretty real intent to meet up with this person. And who knows, maybe it was the miner that ultimately got uncomfortable with this whole thing and called it off, not the doc. We, we don't know for sure. The only thing we do know for sure with what the doc just confirmed is that he was talking inappropriately with a miner, which is a terrible, terrible thing. And even his closest friends are saying they can't defend it, it's inexcusable. And they're right. It is inexcusable, but there are still people trying to defend it, as pathetic as that is. And Dr. Disrespect claims that he's going to come back at some point. And I have no doubt when he does, he's still going to have a massive audience. I, I can already tell based on the amount of people jumping through hoops trying to find ways of justifying this and spinning it in ways where he doesn't look evil. 
which is impossible, but they're doing their best. So I know when he comes back, he will probably have tons of viewers and tons of donations out the fucking wazoo, saying things like, keep your head up, Doc, don't let cancel culture get you down. Uh, it's just a fucking cancel culture mob that ca that came after you. You're a victim of that mob, that's it. Which is just so unhinged. He has openly admitted, in his own words, to inappropriately talking to a minor. It's just craziness. So, that's the update to this whole Dr. Disrespect Band situation. That's really about it. See ya. W video of uh, Penguin. Y'all yeah, know I, I love Penguin videos. But, um, yeah, man. Uh, like he said, like, and I said this earlier too, like, he's he definitely, he that Disrespect, he has like a, a massive fan base. So, he's gonna still get a good amount of, uh, probably a good amount of viewers. Will he, did he lose some, a good amount? He, he, most definitely. Did he burn bridges? Most definitely. Like, did he mess up any future opportunities for himself? Most definitely. But is he just going to be like fully canceled and have no viewers? I don't believe so. I still, like I say, I still feel like he's definitely going to have some, a good amount of viewers supporting him and he's still going to get big donations and he's financially, he's more than likely still going to be good. So, but I don't know, man. Like it's still like it's a very unfortunate situation. Again, y'all, after seeing somebody I used to before I even started doing content creation, YouTube, anything, I'm just out watching watching them, like having fun, watching watching him play play with Nick, play with Ninja, play you know, like play with him. All them good moments, man. It's like wow. You just turned out to be one of that one of that that friend in the friend group who just happened to be do something that's extremely illegal and extremely weird. So it's unfortunate, child. But anywho, that's gonna do that's gonna do it for this video. Y'all let me know y'all thoughts and know what y'all think. And um, yeah, that's it. Y'all stay safe. That our trouble. Love y'all. I'll see y'all in the next one.